Okay, uh, that was set one of the beginning of my uh, push-up block. Uh, it's a new idea I started. I figure if I can use the motivation uh, I have with videos and put it into doing things with my body, I can I can become like a, a Hulk or something. Uh, so I guess in between, I'm going to try to start off 20, 20 push-ups, do three reps today. Uh, uh, wait two minutes in between reps. I use the time to to share some blog style things. So I guess I got the uh, the idea to do a thing like this from watching a video by a uh, by a uh, uh, Gabrielle Chana, uh, A.K.A. Gail Cord. Uh, her blog recently. She's been doing these videos where she's in her swimsuit. Uh, I guess to express a kind of idea about body image, particularly in regards to a diet. Uh, um, uh, the idea is, or she, she seems to say things about, uh, it's kind of platitudinous, rather, uh, you know, you shouldn't focus on body images, uh, if you're a good person and good at heart, it's more important than being a skinny supermodel looking character and have, a, have, a, have an evil cold heart and be an evil mean person, uh, which is true, we all understand and know this, uh, and yet we still kind of obsess about body image. Uh, I think it's kind of like, it must be like an itch, you know, people a kind of tick, a, a certain stress or something that gets people to do things that they know aren't necessarily the most rational uh, or think in a certain way. You know, like for example, you have an itch and you never scratch the itch, but you do it when you get stressed out or like a pain, you start picking at scabs when you get stressed out. It must be like that with, with body image, you know. You, you can understand that you're, you're a happy person, but all of a sudden you get stressed out for some reason or another, and you start obsessing in your head about what you look like. And, uh... Wait, there's a reason they <coughs> say why why muscly guys are kind of uh, hairbrained or, or beef beef heads or whatever the word they use. Because uh, you work out and it takes out your brain cells and you're breathing a lot and stuff and you don't you can't say what you think. Uh, particularly, I'm, I'm camera shy too, so that could be part of it. But uh, so it's two, the second one. Uh, but. Uh, Anyway, you know, like, ladies will get preoccupied with their fat, uh, but men experience body image stuff, too. It's, go, go figure. Uh, and it's got to do with muscles. You know, that's the thing. You know, you have a certain metabolism. You know, if you're too fat, your body just can't break down the stuff fast enough. Or if you're taking certain medicines, it slows down your metabolism. And so it's, it's not anything to do with will. It has nothing to do with the personal failure, per se. It's just the way the body works. You know, people still get upset about it, even though it's not rational, but like I said before, it's like scratching an itch when you're stressed. You know, you just can't help yourself to a certain extent. Uh, but with men, see, it is something they can help. 
you know, men who are, who are spaghetti armed, you know, whose fault is that? See, this is where, that's, there's a cross-cutting thing with body image and like shame and things you can, uh, free will and stuff and capability of doing things. You know, with women, or with, with fat, not fat women, but men worry about, some men worry about fat too, but you know, it's, it's Gail's video is about women's body images, but I guess I'm getting the two confused. Two. Excuse me. But with men's body images, they can work at it, so it is a personal failing in a sense to not have, not have muscles, because you just, just do push-ups. Give yourself some muscles. It's not that hard, but it's, it's a little bit painful at first because you don't want to do it. You can feel the burn, like they say. Uh, but that's why I'm doing the, the push-up blogs, so I can uh, motivate myself. I'll be on camera and you'll be watching me. It's kind of like a religious thing, you know, the, the all-watching eye. And so as long as the eye is watching me, I have to live up to standards and do these push-ups. Obviously, I did not finish the full third set. I got to about 15 and gave up. And I guess that's where the shame and embarrassment comes in, you know. Part of the reason why men, skinny, stringy, sp spaghetti-armed guys don't work out is because it's, it's embarrassing. You saw my face. I can imagine you seeing my face. And I know you're going to see my face. And that's kind of like uh, embarrassing. I mean, it's not so, it's the failure of it all, you know? And I guess that's maybe why sometimes people don't like to diet. I mean, I have to say dieting and exercising are the same, because they're not. Because diet is not a function necessarily of willpower. It's also a function of metabolism. But push-ups are a matter of willpower to a certain extent. As long as you work at it, you'll be able to do more and more. Uh, but this, this is just... Just do something, you know? Uh, don't give up. Never surrender. All for one, one for all. You know, look at look at me. I can be your inspiration. 